Hey, this is Dave Richigan at HouseParents.com, and today we're going to show you how to frame a door. Let's say you're putting up a wall and you want to do frame up a brand new door. We'll show you how to how to unpack this. This is our front entryway, and that door you can see goes out a bit. It used to be straight across there, and we moved that door and pushed it out away from our where we're standing right now uh, to give us you know, an extra 20 square feet of room in the, in the hallway. Knowing how to move a door uh, or install a door or frame a door is, is helpful in respect to that. This used to be a wall and we opened this up, put the staircase in. This used to be a doorway. We've sealed that up and now we're basically moving this door to here so we can go up to the attic. That being the case, we're making use of existing framing and we're going to frame into that so we can frame our door. First things first, you need your rough framing for the door. And then once you have your rough framing in, you put your door jam in and then your door. Some doors come with, uh, they're called pre-hung. That means they're in a frame that is the door jam around the door. And you would simply tilt that in place and shim it. We have real nice doors in this house and we didn't want to get rid of them. They're solid hard, they're solid wood. And so we're we've purchased uh, these door jams, uh, door jam frames that uh, we're gonna be putting in the place here and then we'll hang our door on them. First things first, you have your rough framed opening and your rough frame opening has to fit uh, a door jam on either, on either side and top plus the, the door sitting inside this. And uh, so you have to measure all that out. This is your, you have a stud on the outside of your door rough framing that goes from the top plate to the bottom plate. That's your king stud. This one right here is going to be the, basically the top of the door. That's your jack stud. And so you have a, a jack stud on either side, king stud on either side, and then your header. If you're framing a wall, and those are two by four, your top plate, maybe you have a double top plate. And then you'll have uh, your king stud goes from the all the way to the top, from the top plate to the bottom plate in your doorway. And then you're going to have your jack stud, which is a little shorter. And then you'll have your header. And we'll show you that in a second. And then you would have cripples right here that support the weight of this uh, to your header transfer the load. So now in this particular case, we know that this wall is not, not load bearing. Um, in doors that require a header are on your load bearing walls. When you're framing out a door, if it's a load bearing wall, then you have to have a header and a header looks like this. We've got a, an example of one here. And basically it's um, larger pieces of wood stood on end with a half inch, that's a half inch piece of plywood spacer and then two of these. And what they would do is they would sit on top of your two by four. And the reason you have the spacer there is that makes this distance from here to here three and a half inches, which is the width of the two by four. And so that, that would sit there if you're putting in a, if you're putting in a header. On this particular application, we don't need that because this is not a load bearing wall. So all we basically need is a two by four going from this jack stud to this jack stud, and that's going to create a rough opening. All right, so we check, you want to make sure that your framing, whenever you do any rough framing, that it's level, it's level this way and level this way. And uh, yeah, and that's good. And that'll help when you're trying to do your finish, your finish work. If that's not level, you're gonna have, if it's not level, you have problems hanging the door. And that's why it's just better to do it right the first time. So now we can finish mounting this with our trusty impact drill. These things are awesome. If you don't have one, you gotta get one.
Okay, we're putting in cripples here, but they're good for when you attach the drywall. So like I said, if you had a header here, your header would be, depending on how thick that he header needed to be, you'd have cripples above that, spanning with the gap between the, the, the top of the header and the bottom of your top plate. But for our purposes, this is just for drywall, just something to, to screw to once, once you're done. Um, basically, any opening, any door opening, is or window opening, is going to follow this, this uh, similar kind of... Uh, a pattern. You have your king studs on the outside, top top plate to bottom plate, and then your jack studs are the rough door opening that support the header, or just the, the if this is a non-bearing wall, just this piece right here, and uh, then you're ready for your door jams to go in. Now, if you already have uh, purchased a door that's pre-hung, so that means the jams are already here. Let's come over to this door. The jams would already be attached to the door like this. And it would have its hinges on and, it, and attached to this. That's a pre-hung door. Uh, if you already have that, then you have to measure from the outside of this board to the outside of this board to get your, your opening for the door. Because this whole piece would then slide into your rough framing, which we've just done. And so that measurement needs to fit into here. And that's why it's critical to know the size of your door and if it's pre-hung or not so you know how, how wide to frame that. And uh, if you've done it all right, you should leave yourself a quarter inch of wiggle room. So let's say that that all measures, uh, this is an inch, let's say that all measures 31 and a half. Um, these, the to two door jams on the side of each door, if that weight measures 31 and a half, then you make this about 32 inches. And then that way you have a little play so that you can make sure that that door, when it's placed in here, you use shims, shims like these. And we have we have another door video that you can watch there when we mounted our exterior door. Uh, same thing, you, you have these shims where you can vary the thickness of this amount here so the door sits dead level. Uh, and that's an important part of making sure that your door opens properly. Um, and so that's why you frame this opening just a little bit bigger than the measurement of the door plus your door jam sides. Um, when you put all that together, uh, if you have an extra quarter inch or an extra half inch total in this distance here, then you have playroom to put the door in and get it adjusted. Okay, I hope this helps with you uh, understanding how to frame the door. Uh, we're gonna continue on and I'll show you how to mount the door jams uh, to get those in place, and get them adjusted properly so that they'll fit the door. And when we get all done with this, we're gonna have a brand new uh, entryway into the hallway. When you get ready to install the door jam, it's good to know that the width of that 2x4 there is about 3.5 inches, and then you have on the left and the right about a half inch of drywall each. And so that makes for about 4.5 inches, and that's exactly the width of your door jam. So your door jam is going to cover both the drywall, the two by four, and the drywall again, uh, all the way across that, and then you have molding on either side of that. But uh, that's what we're getting ready to do is install that door jam side. The side jams are in now. You can see they've got some shims there to make sure they're just right. On this side, you can see those shims right there. And the whole goal is to make sure that the Measurement on the inside from side to side will fit the door. And so all that's left now is to get this last piece up and it just fits in those notches right there. It slides in and we'll go ahead and nail that in. And our opening for the door is ready, all except for the side stops, and that's it. All right, so we are all done, and you can see it's uh, we put got the jams on on our our rough framing, and uh, it's nice and square and ready for the door.
Um, we already mudded it up and it's good to go. So uh, again, it's not that hard, not that difficult of a project. It's just knowing the pieces, like knowing the recipe. Hope this helps. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to go ahead and ask us. We'll answer just as soon as we possibly can. We love getting your input, love to see your projects that are going on. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. We have more videos coming. Be sure and ring that bell, and that'll make sure that you get notified whenever we release a new video. Thanks again for viewing. We'll see you next time.